I'm here with OSDOS General Secretary Paddy Lillis to discuss staff safety and convenience stories. Paddy, face masks have been mandatory for customers in stores in England since July 24th. How has it been so far? Well, look, it's going well. Uh, we took the experience in Scotland that was introduced there. Uh, the vast majority of the public uh, get it and wore the mask. The same in England. From what was introduced last Friday, uh, out and about, the vast majority of the British public um, are wearing the masks and realise it's a small price to pay to keep themselves safe and to keep the community safe. So we're, 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 we're very happy about it. We called for the mandatory wearing of masks very early on. Um, so as a union, we're happy to see them being worn um, and the public sort of agreeing with it. And ahead of the guidance, there was a lot of confusion over who should be enforcing this regulation. Um, it's clear that it's not shop workers, certainly. But has this been made clear enough to the public, do you feel? Well, look, part of the discussion we had with the government, uh, particularly the Department of Business and Energy, was to ensure that retail workers were not the policemen and women of this. Uh, retail workers have had enough to do in terms of uh, making sure the public served um, so we were clear there was enough uh, issues and problems for retail staff about having to deal with it. Uh, fortunately, the government agreed to that and put it on the police. And, you know, people say the police are on the resource. Well, yes, they are on the resource, uh, but it'd be very limited times when the police would be called out. We would expect the police to, retur to turn out when there's incident of uh, assaults or uh, verbal abuse uh, towards staff. And that um, hopefully will be the minority of times and not the majority of times. Sure. Well, there have been reports of um, verbal and physical abuse towards shop workers um, back on the rise, um, it is, which is a shame given there was a lot of goodwill towards the sector at the start of the pandemic. Um, what do you think is causing this increase in uh, verbal and physical abuse? Well, look, it's been a problem in retail for many years uh, and we have conducted an annual survey of our members, uh, as is the British Retail Consortium, as is the Association of Convenience Stores. Uh, and over the years, we see year on year increases in abuse, violence, and assaults against retail staff. Uh, most of it's to do with underage sales, uh, age restricted products. Um, and I would say at the start of this pandemic, there was issues around, you know, people not keeping keep social distancing, um, you know people charging the shops and panic buying and frustration has been taken out on the retail worker. So, you know, we have made it clear uh, it's not acceptable. Uh, and again, the retailers have been working with us, the British retailers and sort of and the associated convenience stores have been working with us in a number of events around the country, highlighting to the public, retail workers are there to do a job. They're there to serve the community. They're not there to be abused. Mm -hmm. And what can store owners do to help protect their staff more? Well, I think there's quite a lot's been done over the last number of years. You know, I, I can turn to, for instance, the co-ops a perfect example, one of the biggest convenience uh, sectors in the UK. And they have introduced a very sophisticated CCTV operation with a control centre, headsets for every member of staff, um, you know, good early warning uh, systems uh, to ensure uh, when you're open stores in the morning you can see what's going on when you're closed at night you can see what's going on you can call on from the headset any member of staff in the store at any time uh, so i mean that's the way forward to ensure staff are kept safe uh, and again most retailers understand that and are working closely with us to ensure that violence is eradicated from from the retail sector Excellent. Thank you very much, Paddy. I'm Aidan Fortune for ConvenienceStore.co.uk.